This isn't Fortnite Funnies. Thanks, Jax Films, for uh, featuring in my video. I just bought this, right? Because I didn't have one myself. And uh, why? Why does it have a hole in it? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is my Pokemon. I call her my turkey cat because she's a Turkish van is the name of her breed. I'm going to love you no matter what. I was in the Upper Peninsula like two weeks ago or something like that. And I really wanted to be making this pasty that is native to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But I didn't have the proper ingredient list that I wanted. Yeah, I could just look one up online and stuff, but I wanted to use my grandfather's recipe. So I waited until today to be making this recipe for you guys. So I considered this recipe passed down and I'm passing it from my grandfather to you. And it's my first time making this recipe. So don't expect too much. Okay. And on top of the pasty, I'm also making a very certain special thing just for you. Oh, and by the way, my grandfather was obviously not vegan or vegetarian. So I'm substituting it for me and for you to watch. I have a lot of stuff to be covering in this episode of Chubby Cucumber, sponsored today, chubbycucumber.com. Go pick up some merch. This, 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 and this, and this, and this can all be found at chubbycucumber.com. So, with that being said, everything is plant-based as always. All of the ingredients and the brands that I use, if it is important, <laughs> then they're all gonna be in the description. Let's get into it. With me here is a rutabaga. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're gonna be peeling it. It's got some sort of like waxy film on it. Okay, now I got all like that. The only logical thing to do is cut it straight down like that. Yeah, yeah there we go. French fries. Uh, I didn't cut it all the way down because I wanted to call, cut them all up at once, but I could just break them up like that, I guess. It also occurred to me just to, I'm just gonna cut it straight across like that. Oh, look at that. They're all in French fries. I've never made a recipe with rutabaga before. I don't know if it's just native to Upper Peninsula or what, but I mean, let's face it. The Upper Peninsula of Michigan is just basically Canada. And I'm gonna be skinning these bad boys. And here we are with five beautiful naked potatoes. We're gonna have to be cutting these. Uh, here, I'm gonna cut it that way just like how we were for the rutabaga. With me here, I have one onion, or one and a half onion. What we're gonna be doing is dicing this up real thin. Yet again, I have this is the, the potato and the rutabaga, and I have underestimated the bowl that I need, so I'm transferring everything to a bigger bowl, which means one thing, more dishes. But that's okay, because I'm doing it all for you guys, not even for myself. I'm doing it for you guys so you know how to make the food of my people. My friends always told me that I was like a really good dicer, so I should dice because they loved 
the way that I diced up the food. And then I realized that they were just taking advantage of me and they just wanted me to be cutting this stuff up because they didn't want to do it. I know that this is going to be a fan favorite. I was supposed to have uh, like raw steak, but uh, you know, I kind of don't eat that kind of stuff. So I kind of got the fake stuff. Everyone loves Beyond Beef. This is like, last I checked, it was like 10 bucks for this pound. I think this is a pound, 16 ounces, it's a pound. Pepper, doesn't say how much. I don't want that much salt because it already has sodium inside of it because you know, it's not real meat. Now, we're gonna be doing the inevitable is other than mixing this up. You wanna mix the salt and pepper in with it and then placing it in with the other vegetables or the other plants. And we're gonna be mixing everything together. By the way, next week is gonna be something very colorful and rainbow that I've been putting off and I've been wanting to make for a very long time. So if you want to see a very, very dessert slash breakfast type of a meal, hit subscribe because that's what's your good that's what you're gonna get next week. Because that's what I want to do with this channel. It's called Chubby Cucumber for a reason. And then we're gonna keep mixing. Right now I probably have some youper watching me saying like, this guy doesn't know how to cook meat pasties. Stay tuned, okay? Because we're gonna get this stuff done. It's a family recipe. I'm from Michigan. I know how to cook a meat pasty. For real though, I'm from the Lower Peninsula and since I just got back from the Upper Peninsula, I feel like those youpers, are s they could be kind of weird. Like I, I couldn't find any vegan or plant-based places to go eat that was kind of annoying but i mean i'm kind of used to it i don't really care i mean an apple i ate apples off of like fresh off the tree so i'm from the lower peninsula a few miles north of detroit and like the, like the up and the lp we kind of have like a you know family beef going on because it's the same state but you know there's a bridge that separates us. So we call the UP Youpers. The, the native language of the Upper Peninsula is like, oh, I gotta go get some firewood, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm headed over to Porky Pine Mountain. And <laughs> they have such, like, they have such a Canadian accent. We call it Youpanese. And then they call us trolls the people that live in the Lower Peninsula because, of course, because we live under the bridge. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Do I look extra fancy now? I have three cups of all-purpose flour. Ladies and gentlemen, they call this channel Chubby Cucumber. They don't call it that for nothing. Look at that. Crisco. Straight from a can. <laughs> That's a third cup. Next we have a cup full of water, ice cold water. Depending on how big that you want them, but my recipe calls for five. Okay, and then we're gonna put these in the fridge for like a half hour. I don't have saran wrap, so uh, we're gonna have to make do with this. Cause I forgot to get saran wrap out of all things. I could just make it into one big ball, but I'm very wasteful. That's why I class myself as plant-based and not vegan is because I'm very wasteful. Okay, see you in 20. All right, now I got the oven preheating for 375 and I am about ready to pull out the pasty crust. Where is it? Boom! Now, 
we're gonna be flattening this up and uh, we're gonna be you know making the crust now oh by the way if you haven't already subscribe because next week's recipe is gonna be mwah. and also stay tuned because we're gonna have a bonus recipe this round not just the pasties but something to go along with it Where's that rolling pin? <laughs> Duh, over here. <laughs> wow, I'm such a failure. What we're gonna be doing to each pasty is packing it up like this. Okay, I think I can pack it up even more. Let's see how far we can stretch this pasty. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at making it completely round. Okay, now transfer it over now. We are learning as we go, people. Maybe I just like stuff loaded up too much. But I tell you what, that looks a lot better than the second one. We're gonna keep going. What I did next was pretty simple i just took some vinegar and then some almond milk and then i combined them just a little bit of both and then i brushed the top of the pasties the reason why you want to be using vinegar is because it's going to help harden the shell even though it's like super thin i wonder how it's going to play out this is my first time making these pasties and then i just put them in the oven for one hour. One thing that I want to add though is I have so much left over. So I guess I'm going to be making more tomorrow. Bonus recipe. I am going to show you how I'm making some plant-based gravy. See, I've already started over here. All you have to do is follow these simple instructions. It's so easy to make. But before it gets out of control, I'm gonna go over there and we're going to continue with this recipe. As you can tell, I put in some plant-based butter and I have a one fourth cup of flour. And we're gonna be mixing this in together. We're gonna to start mixing this all together. We're adding three cups of miso broth, one tablespoon of minced onion, Ah, I got this nutritional yeast, but not that much. I'm going to be adding the rest of this bag in there. Welcome to one-handed cooking, ladies and gentlemen. It's supposed to be a fourth cup, but I'm going to just keep it like that because that's less than a fourth cup. It's good enough. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And we're gonna mix all of this together. Let's see what these look like. Hey. Ooh. Cool. Perfect. Haha. -ha. Ooh. Look at that. Looks super nice. They're done. They look amazing. Now. If you're patient enough, wait till Monday and watch the uh, the mukbang Monday where you will see me gorging myself upon the Upper Peninsula meatless pasty that I just made. So, to check that out, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button because you know it's going to help me out. I have a lot of other social media all about Chubby Cucumber. So, be a Kali follower on there, be a Chubscriber on here, help a brother out, 
maybe get some merch. Go to chubbycucumber.com. Pick yourself up a hoodie because it's starting to get cold outside. And just it's it's gonna be amazing next Friday for the recipe that I have planned out. I will see you in the next video. Bye.